Join us for this episode of Horizons. We'll be finding out more about the Black History Month Art Gallery and the 2024 Leap Year. Good morning and welcome to this episode of Horizons. I'm your host, Juliana Mulrooney. And I'm Maximus D. Hey, Maximus. Did you know that February is an exciting month? How so? Well, February has a leap year every four years. No other month has that. You're right. Good morning, morning Del Castle. Castle. Buenos dias, Del Castle. Buongiorno a tutti. Good morning, Del Castle. This is Mr. Morgano, and I want to say good morning to all my Del Castle Cougars. Good morning. Good morning, Del Castle. Good morning, Del Castle. Good morning, Del Castle. Thank you to all those students who brought positive energy this morning. Yes, it was truly great to see. Coming up is a quick commercial break. At Del Castle Technical High School, there are many career areas for your child to pick. In the shop, auto tech, your child will learn two basic vehicle maintenance, alignment procedures, basic automotive, electrical systems, and problem solving skills. The auto technician trade is in very high demand. As a result, after completing your coursework, there will be job opportunities for your child. All students will take an ASE certification exam upon completion of the career area. Choosing your shop may be the harder decision you make. You may want to be in cosmetology or medical assisting, maybe even auto technology. But why not take a look into chemical lab technology? Next up is our shop tip of the week. Hey Maximus, what can you tell me about the shop tip for this episode? Well, Autotech is showing us how to check tire pressure. Breaking news, we're here in Autotech trying to record a bunch of girls show us how to change your tire pressure. They said they were going to do a Toyota, but they seem to be looking at this Ford SUV. So today we're going to learn how to check your tire pressure and for that you have to go to your driver's door and check that information sticker where it says PS5 and look at the number that is in front. In this case, it's 35. Go to your tire, you get your tire pressure gauge and you look to the valve stem, you check it. And then it tells you what your tire pressure term is. Wow, that's some really great information from the students of Autotech. Now I'm here with a very special guest, Miss Hollis. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. How are you doing today? Great. Awesome. Glad to be here. So how was your February? It was awesome. Very busy, but pretty awesome. Did you do anything fun? Uh, well, one of the peaks was taking some of the kids from Del Castle to a ski trip into Bear Creek Mountain. It was pretty awesome. And what did the students do there? Uh, so we went skiing and they went snowboarding. They had an amazing time and they had a very diverse experience. It wasn't like, you know, going to Six Flags or anything like that. It was something out of the ordinary and most of the students, if not all of them, said they had a great time and we hope to take them again next year. Well, that's great. That's great. Yeah. So what are you doing to celebrate Black History Month? Well, one of the things that I do and have been doing for years is wearing something, um, whether it's a t-shirt or jewelry or um, just playing music that celebrates somebody um, from that is African-American or from the diaspora. And I think that's important to celebrate the culture um, because it's not just that you want to, um, you know, just do it during, you know, African American yeah. History Month, but, you know, to bring about that conversation, to showcase who I am, and also to spark conversation, um, to let kids know where they come from and the contributions that African Americans have made and that are still making. So I think it's important. And I do it all the time. Um, it's just that I don't always broadcast it. So I think it's important. Like, you know, I'm West Indian and I always wear my West Indian bangles and so I also mix that with my other jewelry so it's yeah. just a conversation piece. Right. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will be back after the commercial break. 
Are you interested in joining a club? Have you thought about joining Latinos Unidos? This club is meant for all students who want to raise their voices. Students will build a good connection among themselves and in the Latino community. You will engage in many activities such as dance, crafts, conversations, and more. Latinos Unidos meets on every activity period. If you are interested in joining this club, please contact Ms. Bieber at olga.bieber at ncvt.k12.de.us or go to the Students Activities Office to pick up a sign-up slip. That was some really great information Ms. Hollis shared with us. Well, it would be really hard to expect anything less from her. Thank you again to Ms. Hollis for joining us today. Next up, we will be showcasing the Black History Month Art Gallery exhibit. I made a Black History Month art piece based on all the African cultures and skin tones because there's a lot of different skin tones in the world. And I'm a big fan on different cultures and history behind that. So I wanted to make something that represents the whole entire motherland of Africa. Well, I was inspired by my grandmother. She always tested me to see what I could paint, and she was like, can you paint this for me? And I was like, sure. I actually made the painting two years ago. I just never had somewhere to really show my art, and I gave it to my grandmother, but I had the picture. And when I saw that the school was doing it, I was like, why not try it? Um, how do I feel? Um, I feel surprised. I was a little nervous about doing it because everyone would know my name and I'm usually a quiet person, but I wanted to show my talent. I'm happy that I did the painting and I'm glad that I was able to, I guess, put some good peace of mind in the people in the school and to show that we're all different and we all, we, well, we all bleed the same color and we all, you know, have different skin tones and we should just, you know, show how unique we are and how beautiful we are. The artwork is absolutely stunning. We have some very talented students here at Del Castle. Next up is our final package of today's episode, is a little skit on the 2024 leap year. Looking for a shop? Why not choose electrical trades? In electrical trades, you can train to become an electrical technician for a variety of trades. You also have the opportunity to work in a co-op in your senior year. For more information, contact Mr. Bryant or Mr. Panico. Apply for electrical trades today. Hello, my name is Jason De Los Santos, and today we'll be talking about what this part of the school is, called the Media Center. The Media Center is a library, but also a place to study, talk to your friends, or stay after school for extra help. And there's so much space. You can sit here, here, over here, back here, and even back here, if you want to relax, talk to your friends, or maybe some quiet time. So come on down to the Media Center located outside of the main office, where you can stress less and relax. Have a great day, Cougars. So, what's a leap year? A leap year is a year where we add an extra day to the year. What? So we know that a year isn't actually 365 days, but 365.242190 days. Huh? What the? This happens every four years because a day isn't actually 24 hours, but 23.26 hours. So by adding a leap day to every four years, you add 44 minutes to the calendar to make it longer. What? How did I get here? And how did my clothes change? So people who are born on a leap day have to have their birthday on the next day. Um, what? <clears throat> so, do you get it? Uh, no. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw up. 
Blech. I think that about sums up this episode of Horizons. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button to see future productions. As well as hitting that post notifications button so you never miss a video. With that being said, have, have a, a great, great week, week Del Castle. Castle.